Welcome back, y'all. I am going to be predicting the NFC and AFC Championship games. I can't believe that we've already made it here, guys. I, I, I swear it was just yesterday that I filmed my uh, week one predictions. Uh, but anyways, we have a good slate of games, although it's only two. Obviously, it's the championship games for both the NFC and the AFC. And it'll be good ones because both teams do have a chance to beat each other. It's not like we know it's going to be a blowout. Both teams have played against each other in the regular season and all those games have been close between both teams obviously uh with the uh, Niners beating the Rams twice and the controversial ending uh in the Chiefs and Bengals game we're gonna start off with the AFC as it is the first game um on championship Sunday we're gonna do the same thing as I did last time when I predicted the divisional round we are going to go into Madden and see what Madden has to think uh, but anyways yeah let's get right on into the uh, AFC championship prediction um, I'm sorry guys, uh, the, I'm actually, I'm sorry to Bengals fans, you guys have had a nice run, you guys have, it's been a wonderful playoff for you guys, and I don't think you guys should be mad about any, if, if you guys lose this game, I don't think you guys should be mad, because you have exceeded expectations, everybody's expectations, you have, you know, exceeded it, you guys exceeded my expectations, I thought you guys we're just gonna miss the. We're just gonna barely miss the playoffs. But you guys made it to the AFC Championship game. I'm gonna pick you guys to lose this one because I just think that the Chiefs, uh, they've gotten hot and they've got hot and they've gotten hot at the right time. They got hot later on in the season. Obviously earlier, you see, uh, you could definitely see their struggles, but now they're back into the championship form that that we expected them to be at. So I have to pick the Chiefs here. So let's see what Madden has to think. All right, so we are in Madden right now. Obviously, we have the plane now live, uh, but we are going to uh, simulate the AFC Conference Championship game. Doesn't matter what team I pick, as you guys saw in my uh, division around prediction videos. I'm just going to sim the game, so it doesn't matter what team I am, guys. Uh, but anyways, let's just jump right into this. Like I said, my prediction is the Kansas City Chiefs, although I do not want them to win, I you know... Right, we're talking about uh, who I think is going to win, and I think the Kansas City Chiefs are going to win. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump forward to the end of the game. Now, remember, guys, if this is a close game, we are going to step in and see, but the Kansas City Chiefs look like they're going to roll away with it in the snow at Airhead. Ooh, okay, the Bengals scored a touchdown, but I feel like that's all the points they're going to get, and oh, this is a shutout. I don't think there's any coming back from this. Even if the Bengals can try their hardest, but... There's absolutely no coming back from this. The Chiefs have controlled the game the entire way. They tack on another touchdown just for the uh, heck of it. And the Chiefs, in Madden's eyes, are moving on to the Super Bowl for the uh, for the third time in the last four years. That's that's honestly incredible. That's honestly incredible. As much as you can hate a team, you can't, you, you can't um, not acknowledge their success. So uh, let's go on to the NFC Championship game, and here's my prediction. The last championship game of the day with the San Francisco 49ers at the LA Rams. Now, the 49ers fans will be taking over SoFi Stadium once again as KMBR Radio on Twitter posted that they expect more Niners fans to attend the NFC Championship game than they did in Week 18. And we know that a lot of Niners fans attended Week 18. But besides that, guys, I just have to pick the Rams here. Um, it's because it's not because I doubt my own team. It's just because I think that the Rams... Um, They've bought so much into this year that they have a lot of pressure on them, and I feel like they'll be able to, to step up on uh step up to that pressure. They're not getting a first round pick for a couple of years in the future, so they bought everything into this year to where if they lose a Super Bowl or don't even make it, it's a disappointment. Um, and that's not the only reason. I just feel like the Rams defense will come to play as the 49ers offense really cannot do anything against the Packers, which is a bad sign considering we need their offense. Um, and the 49ers defense, like our defense, is solid. To be completely honest with you guys, it's solid. I feel like we'll be able to contain, at least, you know, prevent some big plays from Matthew Stafford. It's just that all we have to do is we have to worry about Cooper Cup because I feel like whenever we face uh, the Rams, Cooper Cup always has a good good play. Just look back to Week 18, Cooper Cup. Touchdown, Cooper Cup. Wide open over the middle. Co Matthew Stafford throws it up to Cooper Cup, and he gets it down, and he takes it down the sideline. So I have to pick the Rams here. The Niners have beat him six times in a row, and I bet you guys is gonna. This is what's gonna end the Niners' win streak against the Rams. This game is gonna end the Niners' win streak against the Rams. Knowing the Niners, this will be the game that they lose to the LA Rams for the first time in three years. Yeah, geez, that seems hard to say. The for the first time in three years. The San Francisco 49ers will lose to LRMs. Let's see what Madden has to say.
back in Madden. Now it's time for your favorite team game or the NFC Conference Championship game between the San Francisco 49ers and the Los Angeles Rams. Niners taking on the uh, Rams for the third time this season. It is very hard for teams to beat the same team three times in one season. It has been done before, but it is very rare. My prediction stands, guys, as the four, uh, as the Rams losing, uh, not the Rams losing, the Niners losing. I'm, I'm just happy for the 49ers or, or, or of my team. Oh, shoot, my bad, guys. Since the end of the game, not the next play or, or change of possession. Uh, since the end of the game, I'm not happy about the Niners. You know, making it this far, I didn't expect them to make it to the playoffs when we started out 3-5. and five. I didn't expect them to do that. I didn't even expect them to make it to the NFC Championship game. Well, I mean, I guess I did, uh, but... Not this far, and it looks like the Niners have the lead in Madden's eyes, and they're pulling ahead even more. Oh my gosh. Okay, it is 16 to 13. We're gonna jump. We're, okay, we're, we're gonna go. No, no, no. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna jump to next play. We're gonna do this very slowly. See what happens here. The Rams have the ball. They're making a good drive down the field. They have gotten into the red zone. A penalty on Nick Bosa allows them to get a... Um, that's going to get in good position. Oh, and Matthew Stafford is sacked by the guy the Niners traded for tr from the uh, Houston Texans, Charles Omanihu. And on 4th and 11, the field goal is good. The game is tied. The Niners get the ball. Can Jimmy Garoppolo lead another game-winning drive? That's a 5-yard reception to, to George Kittle on 2nd on and 5. A 6-yard rush by Elijah Mitchell. Then a 13-yard reception from Debo Samuel. Then a 3-yard rush by Elijah Mitchell. And Okay, I guess 2nd and 7, incomplete pass. Come on, Jimmy. Oh, no! Garoppolo is sacked. And the Niners are going to have to punt it. And the Rams can win the game. Oh, third and 14, an 18-yard reception to Cooper Cup. Oh, the Rams have won the game. The Rams are going to win. Oh, they score a field goal early on. The Niners use their timeouts wisely. What we're going to do is we are going to go down. We're going to watch each play. Okay, here we go. The Niners with 46 seconds left. Jimmy Garoppolo in shotgun. G Garoppolo's gonna take a deep shot downfield. He's got Debo Samuel separating. Oh, Debo Samuel gets it and it's a touchdown. It's a touchdown for the 49ers. Did they score too early though? That is the main question. Did they score too early? 37 seconds left. Rams have two timeouts, but the Niners get a touchdown late in the game to get up by three points this what a turn of events here in madden okay the niners with one play on their drive made uh, got a touchdown the rams from their 25 yard line let's see what they can do matthew stafford in shotgun he's gonna drop back he's gonna take a throw and it is caught by cam Akers. the rams have to use their timeout as that as he did not get to the sideline all right a really important drive for the la rams if they want to advance to the super bowl Let's see, Stafford drops back, is going to take a deep shot down the field, and it is Odell Beckham Jr. That's a touchdown. That's a touchdown. And the Rams have scored. The San Francisco 49ers might be sent home as the pass is dropped by Juwan Jennings. We are going to watch the final plays of this game. Like I said, guys, the Niners scored too early. Remember, they got a touchdown the first play of the last drive. Let's see what they can do here as it is second and 10. Garoppolo has to take a deep shot. Oh, and he gets sacked. Classic Garoppolo. Classic Garoppolo. That is just classic Garoppolo play. It is the Rams took a timeout for some reason. I'm not sure why they wouldn't let it go down um, why they wouldn't let the clock go down, but hey, this is Madden, Garoppolo's gonna have to take a deep shot anyways, it's not gonna matter, he throws it to the sideline, which is unusual, and the Rams are going to advance to the end, to, to the Super Bowl in Madden's eyes. Mm -hmm.